So in previous tutorial, we have created a Docker environment for our PHP application. In this tutorial, I'm just going to include MySQL and also PHP MyAdmin. So let's proceed. So very beginning, I'm just going in hub.docker.com and in here, if you just uh, search by any keyword, for example, MySQL, you will get a lots of images in here. You can see almost 3,000, more than 3,000 images in here. I'm just selecting the official image that the MySQL official image. If you just click on in here, uh, you will get some in instruction in below. I'm just going in below. And you can see that they have given an instruction that how you can implement uh, this uh, image uh, in your uh, in your Docker Compose YML file. I'm just going to copy this uh, portion of uh, code and just uh, paste it in my uh, Docker Compose YML file. And here I'm just going to paste it in here. So you you can see that alignment actually very important in here. You can see that this service php env and dv is the both are the same element and you can see the service and there is a tab and the php environment this is the service name and this is the service name and these both are in the same element and i'm going to create a changing the name the mysql underscore dv this is the name that i'm changing in here changed in here and in this image, you can see the MySQL. I'm just changing a uh, little bit in here. I'm just uh, adding a latest keyword. Uh, this latest actually will um, will uh, give you the latest update always when you will build this image. And the next one, the this command, I'm not going to change anything in here. I'm just changing this environment. This environment, you can see the MySQL root password that we are able to change. So there have lots of other others environment in here if you go in down then you can see the environment variables there is some description you can see the mysql root password database this all you can use mysql user password that's all you can actually use we are just changing the password the mysql root password so here is the environment so i'm just going to change it to root and the next thing uh, next thing that i'm going to change i'm just going to uh, add the php my admin image in here uh, for graphical represent uh, my mysql database so here i'm just going in php my admin image official image and the same thing that i'm going to do i'm going in bottom and you will get the latest uh, uh, you will get the uh, update in here that how you can add the php my admin so this is the portion that i'm going to copy and paste it in here and i'm just following the same alignment you can see the php environment my sql db and here is the php my admin and the same thing that i'm just using the latest keyword and uh, everything uh, rest of the part will be the same i'm going to save it and just going to change this port also i mean i'm just running my app in 9000 port so here i'm just changing it to 9001 it's optional and uh, and finally that i have to uh, give the two command in a docker file the two command that i require one is for uh, extension the php mysql i extension that i that i require for run my application uh, for connect my uh, my sql class to uh, uh, for php my sql to uh, my sql class to my sql database so for that uh, uh, before install the extension i also required the linux environment that means debian environment for run this my sqli class so i'm just going to update the package in my debian environment you can see that I've just given run apt-get update y and apt-get install and you can see that I have installed here the library MariaDB dev. That's I actually install for create the environment for my MySQLi. If you use the MySQLi, you can just uh, given uh, run this command, this run command for install your MySQLi. 
if you use the pdu you can just use here the extension pdu underscore mysql this one but i'm here using the mysqli so i'm just using this only the mysqli if you want to use the multiple uh, extension you just need a give a space then you can use the another extension example intl is the extension you can give it like this way so in this tutorial i just going to add only a mysql extension and also the library the same thing you can do you can give a space and you can add a new library like library dev or you may need the ICU library, ICU dev, something like that. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to uh, create the in environment only the MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. So I'm just keep it this keep it the simple. So after save, if you just go in your command line and just type Docker compose uh, a build, then it should build now. So. I'm just waiting some moment for building the all image and you can see that it has already uh, built it and the uh, it's also running my image and it's already running so we can go in our uh, browser and if we just hit here the 9001 you should see the phpMyAdmin. admin so you can see the phpMyAdmin. admin now the question will what will be the server the server will be the name of your container name that means the mysql db the service name that will be the uh, your mysql db that will be your serv uh, server name and username root is the default and password that we have given here the root password is root so i'm just going to use this root and just uh, click on go so you can see that uh, my phpMy admin is ready. So there are some default uh, uh, database that by default you will get in here. So I'm just going to I'm going to try to connect my index.php uh, with this uh, database. For example, I'm going to connect my index.php with my SQL database. So for that, I'm just trying to just writing. I'm just writing a very simple code connection new mysql i and in here i'm just going to here first one is the host name so host name will be the service name uh, that means uh, mysql db and the next thing that i have to go user will be root and password will be root and finally the database i'm going to use the mysql database that means this one and after save i'm just going here to check given a check if it's connect then it will give us a uh, give, uh, give us a message that's connected now after save if you just go and just click uh, if you just, and check it in your browser localhost 9000 and you can see the connected message that means we are able to connect our index.php with mysql so thank you for watching this tutorial uh, in next tutorial we will create a docker environment for a mbc framework so let's proceed thank you for watching